Hello beautiful and thank you for clicking on today's video. So today I wanted to show you what a minimalist's car looks like. I think most of us, or at least most people that I know, they like to carry certain things in their car in case of emergencies or just to have around so they don't have to carry it in their purse or work related things, whatever it may be. And I wanted to show you a little bit of what a minimalist's car looks like. So if you are at all interested in what a minimalist keeps in their car, keep on watching. Okay, so this is my car. I have a Honda Civic, and I'm going to be showing you what's in the cabin of my car and then also what's in the trunk. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with the center console here, and then I'll move to the glove box and then to the trunk. So starting off here in the center console, I actually only have one thing. I do typically grab a water bottle whenever I'm gonna be out for the day, but that's not here right now because I'm not going anywhere today. But in this center console, the only thing I have are these facial wipes. The gyms in my area are open as long as you wear a mask, but the problem is when you sweat with a mask on, you tend to get acne, and I'm not allowed to wash my face in the sink at the gym because then you have to take your mask off. So unfortunately, although these are wasteful and I hate them, they're the sort of only thing that's keeping me from getting acne post-gym because I you know, run out to the car take off my mask and then immediately use one of these before the drive home and that does seem to help with the acne. I have this little keychain. My friend got this for me. I can't remember. I think it was from she went to Hong Kong and um, an old client and friend got this for me and she said that it's to help keep you safe in your car so I keep it in my car and I've not had a fatal car accident so it must be working. <laughs> I have a hair tie, just in case I ever need one. I have some hand sanitizer. I really like this hand sanitizer. It's pretty moisturizing, which is nice because hand sanitizer over the last year has really been killing my hands. So, highly recommend this one. I got it at Walgreens. I have <laughs> some mini Cadbury eggs. It's almost Easter, so that makes sense. I don't know why they're in my car though. I might have those later today. Okay, this I highly, highly recommend. So my mom got this for me as a gift for Christmas one year along with some other stuff and it's just basically a safety thing. This is designed to break your window and this is designed to cut your seatbelt in the event of like a car accident or if you know your car goes into water and you need to break your window to escape. Um, so I have that and I really really like that. I would say that's probably the most important thing that I have in my car. Down here, oh sorry, down here I have two things. I have a iPod cable, pretty obvious, music, you know, important. And then I also have these gloves. And I use these gloves for driving because they help block out the sun. Because when you're driving all the time like this, the sun is just beating down on your hands. And your hands and your face are the two places that you age the fastest, just because they're the most exposed to the elements at all times. So I use these gloves when I'm driving to sort of mitigate that sun exposure to my hands. I used to just use sunscreen, but now that I'm washing my hands like every 20 minutes and using sanitizer, it just, it's a little bit too much. Over here, I actually don't have anything. So let's go ahead and move to the glove box. And into my glove box, and it looks a little bit messy, but it's definitely minimal in my opinion. And I do keep my car this clean Kind of at all times. I'm not the kind of person who enjoys just leaving a bunch of crap in my car, but I do have the essentials. So essentials, I have two masks just in the event that I forget my mask, which still happens even after a year. Okay, then I have two sunglasses or two glasses. I have my glasses that I use at night and I have my sunglasses that I use during the day. They are both prescription because I do legally need glasses to drive. I have some wet ones. This is really good just for wiping anything down or sanitizing anything. When I go to the thrift store, I'll use these before I put the items into my car just to kind of get them sanitized before <laughs> touching any of my stuff, but they're just good to wipe things down in general. Then I have a coin purse. This is where I keep my quarters and dollars for the meters when I park downtown or something. I have this pouch, which I will go through in just a second. I have a light, which is super helpful. Some napkins. And then this 
is a pen. This is just like the owner manual and my registration and stuff like that are all kept in here. So I'm gonna put all of this stuff away and then I'll show you what's in this little pouch. So now I'm gonna be showing you what's in this little pouch here. Again, I apologize for sort of the lighting and the angles and the sound quality. It's a little bit difficult to get like super high production value inside a car, especially when I'm vlogging because the microphone is so close to my mouth and I feel like you can hear me breathing. So if that really annoys you, I apologize. Please watch another video of mine, it'll probably be better. But going into the bag now. So I have tampons, a lot of tampons actually. You never know, being a woman. I typically use a menstrual cup, but sometimes you're out and about and then you're kind of up a creek with no paddle and you need something. So I do have these left over from my days when I was not using a menstrual cup. Liner, same thing. Then I have, whoa, maybe I needed a clutter here because I have three separate glasses cleaning cloths. I feel like I only need one. I'm actually gonna set that aside to declutter my two least favorites. I have, this is an emergency flashlight and the reason it's really good is because it doesn't need batteries. So if there's ever an emergency situation on the road, you get in a wreck or something, this is a hand crank flashlight. So right now it has a little bit of a charge left in it, but the way that it would work is you crank it up. It's a really obnoxious sound, but you crank it up so that way you never need batteries. And I have one of these in my car, one of these in my husband's car, and then two in sort of like our emergency home FEMA kit. And I can link these down below. They're super duper awesome and they were pretty cheap. Next, I have the wall mount to my charger. I have the charger in my little center console like you saw, but this is the wall mount in case I'm ever staying at someone's house and I need to get that phone charged. Two pens along with this third one. I probably don't need three pens in my car. I'm gonna just keep one here declutter those two. Hair ties and clip and then I have a nail file. So I'm not a big like nail filer on the go but occasionally you get like a hang nail or that one crooked jagged nail that just gets hooked on things and it kind of annoys you when you're out and I used to be a chronic nail biter so in order to not bite my nails I kind of need like a quick fix for when that's happening so I just kind of file it out and then I'll deal with it when I'm at home. So I keep that in my car. And that's it for this little pouch. Let me go ahead and put everything back in. So that's everything in my center console. Now let me go ahead and show you what's in my trunk and you will have a full look at what is in a minimalist car. Okay, you guys, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze here in my garage and I don't really wanna do this in my driveway because then my neighbors can see me and that's a little weird. So I'm just gonna sort of lean in and show you here. So this is a bag that I have to take to the donation center. It currently has socks and undergarments in it that I'm gonna be attempting to recycle the textiles. Over here, I have a blanket that I keep in case I'm ever at like a park or something and we wanna do a picnic or whatever. Um, a towel, just in case, you know, something with my car needs to be looked at and then I need to wipe my hands or whatever. Sometimes I've gone swimming and forgotten my towel, so that's there. Pair of jeans, that is exclusively for feminine emergencies. <laughs> I have needed those more than once, so a uh, pair of jeans. And then just a jacket um, in case I ever forget one and it gets cold. I have my gym bag. If you're curious to what's in a minimalist gym bag, I will link that video down below. The only thing that has changed since that video is the size of my bag, because one of the items I just bought to keep in that bag didn't fit in my more smaller one, so I got a slightly bigger bag. Here, I'm gonna pull out and show you what's in here. And then underneath this blanket is my car tire along with things that I need to replace my car tire. I also have a glass liter bottle of water and about 500 calories worth of snacks in the event that I ever get stranded. You wanna have food, you wanna have water. It's a minimal amount, but it's enough to make me feel comfortable while I'm waiting for emergency services. So. Let me go ahead and sit back in my car and I'll show you what's in this. This was in the back of my car. The initials are not mine. I got this at a thrift store and I didn't really care because I knew it was gonna be going into my car. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I have a roll of toilet paper, <laughs> which sounds dumb, but I go hiking a lot and it's good to kind of just have this to blow your nose or if you need to go to the bathroom off you know, on the side of the trail. Good to have toilet paper. And I also have typically, which I don't have in here, I'm gonna wanna put in here, a Ziploc bag, cause you don't wanna litter your toilet paper. 
when you're going to the bathroom on the side of a trail, you want to put it in a Ziploc bag and then throw it away. But toilet paper? The reason it's in my car is because I always forget to bring it on the hike. So I just keep it in my car and I don't have to think about it. Next, I have more feminine products. I have pads. I have tampons. I have panty liners. More tampons. My menstruation used to be the worst. I had the Paragard IUD, so I would just, and this might be TMI, so I'm sorry if it is, but I used to just bleed and bleed and bleed. So like, I was going through like the biggest size of tampon in like 30 minutes. So I switched my IUD, so I'm fine now, but this is sort of the collateral of what it used to be like. So all of my billions of feminine products are in this bag. I also have a toothbrush and toothpaste. I used to work in an office and usually right after lunch I would just feel a little bit icky and gum and mints didn't really do it for me. So I do keep these in my car in case I ever need to freshen up. Um, wow, even more menstrual products, Crimony. I have another one of those flashlights in my trunk just in case I need a secondary one. If I'm with somebody, it's good to have two, one for each person. Earplugs. There was a period of time where almost every day after lunch, I would take a 15 to 20 minute nap in my car, so these are good for that. They are also good if I'm ever drunk and sleeping over at a friend's house. I have trouble sleeping without earplugs, so um, I keep these in my car in case that ever happens. Because if I ever do get drunk, when the world <laughs> goes back to normal and I can go out drinking with my friends, I don't drive even if I'm like the least littlest bit tipsy because I just, that's a bad thing to do. So if I sleep at a friend's house, I have earplugs. Uh, and then I have a pouch within a pouch, but I don't know what's in here, so let's see. Ah, I have some tea. The reason I carry tea with me is because I used to work a job where I had clientele and I would take them out to coffee. But I didn't always want to buy myself coffee and or spend the money on coffee, so a trick for you is you can carry tea with you and then just go to Starbucks and ask for a mug of hot water. You have tea, so that way you're still kind of having that experience with your friend or your client or whatever, but you're not spending any money. So I have tea with me for that reason. I have sickness band. Occasionally I get car sick, especially when my husband is driving. I don't know why, but these help with car sickness. Floss. You won't believe how much that comes in handy. Um, I have a Tide to Go pen. These are things that I used to carry in my purse, but I found that I needed them so infrequently that they were fine to just keep in my car. So Tide to Go pen. Another nail file. I don't feel like I need two inside of my car, so I'm gonna declutter that one. I have a safety pin because I actually, I had a wardrobe malfunction once at work. I had a shirt with a button completely busted open and I was like, holy crap, what do I do? But luckily I had a safety pin. So ladies and gentlemen, safety pin can sometimes save your life. So I'm going to pack all of this up into the little bag and then into the big bag. All right, you guys. So that is everything in my minimalist car, in the cabin of my car, in the trunk of my car in with the spare tire of my car, my center console, everything, everything. Let me know, what is something that you keep in your car? Oh, you know what? I totally just lied. I also keep an umbrella. I just keep it, ugh. I keep it in the side of my door, kind of in between the seat and the door. I also keep an umbrella because it rains, obviously. Let me put that back. Okay, <laughs> now to finish my outro. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you're not already. I make all kinds of minimalist lifestyle and challenge type videos here on my channel. So if you like that kind of content or you're just like me, consider subscribing and sticking around. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.